How can I offset the risk of a market crash when making a retirement plan? Most retirement plans in America today are built upon investment portfolios, whether it's a 401k or some other scheme similar to it, they're built upon the idea that stocks will, over time, increase in value. With the recent enormous crash of the market, that seems like a less than stable plan. The last thing I would want to do is leave my wife and I in a position where we cannot support ourselves due to a complete lack of funds in our golden years, is there any way for me to prepare for our retirement that doesn't hinge upon the performance of the market? For further context, I'm about 32 years old and I've been working my current job for seven years, planning to move to a new job in autumn. So I'm likely at least 25 to 30 years away from retirement. Investment is inherently risky. Other investment options compared to stocks would be cash, which is likely to be eaten by inflation over time. 100.000 at 2% yearly inflation will be worth approximately 55.000 in purchasing power in 30 years. Real estate, which is extremely location dependent, may necessitate manpower for upkeep and can be just as volatile as stocks. But unlike a diversified stock portfolio, a real estate portfolio likely only holds one to a few units for the average Joe, excluding rights, bonds, which, historically, offer a lower overall return than stocks, but also lower volatility. CDs, much lower and safer return compared to stocks. Various other investments that I would not recommend like gold, bitcoins, milk caps etc. Each of these can be part of a healthy portfolio. But as your horizon is 30 years, you should not discard stocks because of their volatility. Because their historical returns will be hard to beat. If their value might temporarily crash by 25% 30 years from now, but their value doubled or even tripled in that time frame, you are still likely coming out far ahead of other options. But as you are transitioning from your pay-in to your draw-out phase, it might make sense to add more stability into your portfolio. One common advice is to do that by mixing in bonds, e.g. by having a stock-to-bonds percentage of 100 your age. So at your age, you could hold 68% of your portfolio excluding your emergency fund in stocks and 32% in bonds. This way, you can get rid of some of your bonds in times of crisis to spend, buy more stocks and reduce overall volatility. But again, volatility with high returns is a good thing if you have a long investment horizon.